obviously uh, disappointed in the turnout. Um, started way too slow, both phases, or really all three phases. Um, turning it over in our own side. Defense fought and held up and um, then gave up points. We didn't, we didn't do nearly enough in the first half. Dug ourselves a big hole. Felt like the effort was good. They fought, came back strong in the second half. Um, gave themselves opportunities again. Fumble inside the one yard line. Can't do it. And um, not, not converting at the, uh, with the two minute there at the end. So um, I think ultimately, you know, you can't have two turnovers against a team like that. Third down conversion wasn't nearly good enough. Again, the first half had a ton to do with that. Um, just didn't make enough plays. Chef, after the Matt Ryan scramble, were you thinking you might call a timeout there? Is that one you'll go back and look at? No, nah, yeah, you know, I, I thought we had plenty of time. I wasn't really concerned. We still had timeouts, so I wasn't too concerned. I really wanted, I, you know, when he was going down, I couldn't tell where they were going to start him from going down, right? Like if he was going to get the first down, and then we got there. Um, I expect this to get on the ball and be and have another play. Um, a little bit quicker than that, but again, it wasn't a. This wasn't a press for time. We just didn't make enough plays. Yeah, what, was, what was the vibe at halftime? You guys came out then in the third, and Flowers kind of sparked the whole thing. It looked like a whole different team in that third quarter. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, when we walked in, I just said, "Hey, this, you're going to learn a lot about who you are right now, right?" And uh, Z got up and and uh, you know gave the breakdown and just challenged everybody. And those guys, you know, they stepped up and made the, you know met the challenge. It was. Uh, obviously, it wasn't nearly good enough the first half, and uh, I think everybody felt it. Wait, you know, just just not nearly enough plays and really self-inflicted wounds, uh, which has kind of been the story the last two weeks against opponents that you know you feel like you have an opportunity and don't make enough to to close it out. Any clue what's going on with Jonathan Taylor in the situation? He's been good since he's been here, but in college he did have that issue. Yeah, I, I didn't know that about college, but no, I mean, you know, today it was it was uh, it wasn't um, it, it wasn't a hit. It was a, a mesh, uh, you know, he and the QB and and you know getting the mesh, and so um, yeah, one of those that you, I don't know that I've seen it. If I have, I haven't seen it very often. Uh, obviously, that's tough to tough to stomach inside the one yard line. What do you make of the start being that slow? And, and can you put your finger on anything? And I'm wondering about the play calls. If you like, if you like where that was going at the start. Yeah, I mean, listen, I felt like um, from a, I felt the defense started good. You know, obviously they gave up, the, the, you know, you gave up the field goal, but then we give them a short, um, you know, we turn it over inside our own and they hold. Um, so I thought they fought. The effort was good there. For us, we, we, you know, we, there were plays to be made. We just didn't make them. And, um, you know, we, we thought we could attack them down the field. They, you know, they were, they were pressing us up pretty good early in the game and we were trying to get some plays off and, and just, Communication wasn't great. Execution wasn't great. Again, you can point fingers, and it's like everybody takes a turn at different moments. And uh, so, you know, collectively, we just didn't do enough. And you saw we come out in the second half, and it looks like two totally different offenses, one that's in rhythm, moving, no new plays. You know, we talk about all the time, no new plays, no new players. It boils down to executing. And uh, we, just, we just did a much better job in the second half than we did the first. You obviously have many in the whole year. Can you put your finger on, on any reason why the turnovers continue each week? Uh, I don't. I think the uh, the first one, the kid made a good play. He fell off in, in the coverage he was in. Um, I, I think it was um, um, I think it was Pitt who was trying to sit down, and he fell off another another receiver to make the play. So it was a, yeah, a heck of a play for the kid to make, and uh, just just re, you know had good eyes on the play. And the second one, like I said, just. You know, untimely, and you know you hate to see it again. How often does that happen? It may never happen in his career again. Just unfortunately, it happened tonight. Yeah, when you got here, there was a quarterback changeover, and then we, and we, I mean, you know all this, but just you yeah. said, you know, Sam's our guy, and then you changed your mind. That's fine. Right. Have you seen enough after three games to open the, to rethink any of that, or is, is Ryan your guy? No, Matt's doing. Yeah, yeah. He, Matt, Matt's going to continue to be the guy. We're going to, like I said, we're going to keep. Keep moving forward. Keep pressing forward with what we got, and um, yeah, I tell the guys in the locker room, man, it's not. It's we got the players in the locker room to do it. We got the plays to do it. We we got to figure out how to execute and um, in moments that matter. And so that's that's really what we got to focus in on and hone in on. I apologize if you've been asked this before, but um, at the end of the game, Matt scrambles. It's third and three. You choose not to take a timeout. What was the thinking there? And yeah, I didn't feel like time was really of the essence at the moment. I thought we had a good play. Um, I thought we would get to.
Yeah, I, and I felt like we would get to it. You know, we, um, you know, obviously we don't do great on the backside, so it, it, it's it's worse than it. You know, but I felt good about the call before. Felt like we had time. We would have timeouts afterwards. We were in striking distance. So yeah, I, I never felt like the pressure of needing the timeout. Thought, like I said, I thought the call was good, and the you know we had. Again, we were in that mode pretty much the whole second half, so it was pretty consistent with what we were doing. So again, it wasn't like a change for us. Um, we just didn't execute it. On a positive note, how impressive was Jelani Woods today? Oh, so glad he's back. I mean, had a heck of a day. Um, you know, Jelani a, is a massive human being and uh, got, got a great attitude, a great heart, kid fights. And um, you know, made play after play for us, and and uh, yeah, he's he's one of those guys. You're you're super excited to get him back in the lineup. Made a bunch of plays for us tonight. Jeff, all week you talked about how this game would be won or lost in the trenches. How do you evaluate your offensive line's performance? Yeah, I actually think they did a pretty decent job, and they gave us ourselves, you know, gave ourselves a shot to win. Um, you know, I thought they matched up again, and I've talked to these guys. It's going to have to get better each and every week. I think they're making strides. That's a really good group, um, and I thought they fought. You know, some of the I know a couple of the sacks. Um, you know, one was a nickel in coverage coming down to make the sack you know, in an offensive line. So not all sacks are equal. Um, but I thought the guys really did a good job. I thought uh, Bernie did a really good job. Again, put a big hat on him, uh, blocking High Smith in that whole side, and then obviously blocking uh, TJ um, on the right side for, um, you know, when, when you talk about those two guys and the guys in the middle, they had a heck of an opportunity. I thought they met up and, and, and fought well. Anything from the writers who just came down? Just one more on the on the end of game situation. I, I know you said you you weren't concerned about the time left on the clock, but a timeout would give Parks Frazier a chance to maybe come up with his favorite play call there. Today. Yeah, we already had it. I mean, we had it as the play was happening. We already had again. That was kind of the mode we were in the whole second half. So we already had it in the head. We were going actually to the next play. So as soon as as soon as he got tackled, we knew where we were going. And um, again, I. I mean, would I have liked them to snap it a little bit earlier? Sure, but again, never felt pressed for time. Never felt like uh, we wanted to get to something different. You know, you just got like I said. It's you know, we we had made that that same play a couple times and done well with it, and unfortunately, it just didn't work out.